Yeah, I'm going to go back to my hotel room, um, hopefully eat a cheeseburger. That'll be mm. my celebration. And then get on a flight tonight to Vienna. Um, this is all new for me, new experiences at tournaments I've never played before. So uh, I wouldn't say that this is the difficult part of the tour. Obviously, it's a quick turnaround, but coming off of uh, winning a title, you know, full of confidence, uh, I'd say that that's the, the easier side of the tour, even though you have less days of rest or to travel. Um, I think the hard part about being on tour is the mentality. And, you know, when you're in a place where you've lost a few matches in a row, you lose early in a week, and you have to sit on that loss for the next, you know, six days, or sometimes now with two-week tournaments, 14 days until you play the next match. I think that that's much more difficult. Mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to let this title sink in. Um, really happy with the way that I competed this week, and I'm not sure what the future holds. Um, so I'm just looking forward to tomorrow, uh, looking forward to my next tournament. Um, we'll reevaluate things when the year is over, but yeah, I'm not really looking that far down the road right now. I like to try to be original. Uh, I like to try to do different things on the court, um, be creative, and yeah, that celebration was really cool and special for me because of what it meant to my friends back home. But yeah, I, I'm not really a guy who thinks about uh, a celebration that I'm gonna do before I play. I think it's kind of like a spontaneous, uh, in the moment thing. You know, this week, uh, one of my friends here, Mackie McDonald, was talking to me about it. He was like, yeah, man, if you, if you win, you should do this uh, celebration um, where you act like you're fixing your tie and your suit and holding a briefcase like uh, it's all business. So I, I kind of did that a little bit <laughs> uh, after I shook hands with the ref.